face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, rising water. So, in this video, I'll be basically teaching you how to make flood escape. So, first, you, of course, you want a part, which is going to be your water. So, you can do underscore capital W water. And then, insert something for your map or your own map. I'll just rename this map and I'll just show you how to make um, water rising. So first of all you want to scale your part until it covers the entire map. So I'll do that real quick. And boom, there. Now you have this big block. Um, so I'm going to customize mine. I'm gonna make it bright blue with maybe 0.25 transparency, and the material is going to be granite because if you did not know, granite is the material of the water in Floodscape and Floodscape too. When I um, just to make it easier, I'm going to change cast shadow off. I'm going to take this water and move it down. And so it's just below, so it's like seamless. Make sure you do not scale it down. Make sure you just move it down. So, um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to delete the base plate. You do not have to, it is optional, and yeah, this is your water, and you can look at the um, positions, so I'll make this 13 even. Um, it would be easier if it were even an, an even number, so thir negative 13, and then if we go check. The coordinates it is let's see if I make this 12 then it's covering the entire map so 12 plus 13 since the X is going to be negative 13 13 plus 13 is 26 minus 1 is 25 so you have 25 so it's going to be moving up by 25 studs so you want to insert a script and then you can delete um this is just the moving script i made earlier test it but you can rename this moving water script or whatever you want so i already made this um so yeah you want to delete print hollow world obviously then write t equals and then the amount of studs you're going to have it move up by so mine is 24 t equals 25 and then we're going to do a repeat statement until so repeat t equals t minus 1 because t is um time so this is going to be the time it takes so 25 seconds to move 25 studs you can customize this however you want but i just did 25 seconds so next you can do script dot parent dot position is equal to script dot parent dot position and then plus vector 3, because vector 3 is for three-dimensional things. Vector 3 dot new, because it's a new thing. And then, um, if it helps, go into view. And then go to view selector. 
this shows the x, y, and z. So as you can see, the y is right here, and it goes up and down. The z, if you're moving it backwards, or x, if you're moving it um, horizontally. So yeah, and let's say I want it to go one, or actually since I'm making it go up by one stud every second, it would be zero, one, zero. So you can just look at the coordinates. If it doesn't change, then, so if it doesn't change on the X or Y, then it's just rising by the amount. So let's see what I did over here. And then it does weight one. Because obviously if it were to just, if I were to just run this real quick, it just goes down. So, and also it got um, here, so until, so make sure you anchor your water because you do not want that to happen. Nothing happened. So you want this to be a weight one until t is equal to zero. So the reason why I put two equal signs because if I just did this, this is just making up a new, so like see here, it's just t equals t minus one. That's because you're just changing it. If it's one equal sign, it's changing it. But if it's two equal signs, and that means it has to be that. Get it? I hope you did. Um, so now, if we run this, it should start slowly. Yep, it's moving up. As you can see, it's moving up one stud at a time until it reaches um, the destination. As you can see, I'm not editing this. I can move around. It is working. And yeah, let's see if you want it to be a little bit slower. And yep, this is the end destination. So let's say maybe you want it to be a little bit slower. Then you it would you could increase the time on this. So change the one to maybe a two, and then it would rise one stud up every two seconds. This is moving up one stud, negative eight, negative seven, negative six. And as you can see, it. you can just change the time. You can play around with it. But for now, I'm gonna leave it to two. And then T equals 25. So yeah, it should be able to do the exact same thing, except it's just waiting a longer time to rise up. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will be seeing you in the next video. So I hope um, you like this and you can use it in your game. So, so make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.